In this video, I revisit the trail that leads to what the off-road community calls V-Rock before meeting up with my friends who camped right by a lake the night before. Let's go. It's a hot summer afternoon in the city and the only way I can think of escaping the heat is by heading to the backcountry. Luckily, my friends are camped right by the lake, celebrating our friend Mike's birthday. Hopefully, I can get to camp before it's too late to take a dip. After quickly gassing up, I race my way towards the trailhead. Just finished airing down, about to meet my friends over at that second lake that uh, we went to on my last trip, which was like about a month ago. Put the link up somewhere here and um, yeah, just about to meet them over there and yeah, it, I'm excited. It's, it's dang hot right now. Celsius wise, it is 31, 32 degrees. It's around 5 p.m. right now and I'm boiling. So uh, let's get going. doing something spontaneous before I head to camp. I haven't gone here in a long time, so I'm gonna attempt what they call around this area called V-Rock. I'm gonna try it out. I haven't done this trail specifically for almost like two years ago, so let's go check it out. Let's just walk along here. Let's go check this trail out. Like I said, I haven't been here in a while. I don't know if this is already V Rock, <laughs> but it's gotten a lot washed out. Definitely got washed out a lot. <laughs> Crazy. So we're gonna try to figure it out going up there. I think I'm just gonna go towards the right side to be able to get out there.
right no real so far from what i'm looking no real damage but I, i'd have to really look at the, the video again but so i got up here for some reason my four low wasn't kicking in as much but i think my tire or my wheel actually rubbed onto here so but all in all we got up there uh we're gonna continue on i don't think this is v-rock so i think it's just a boulder that fell here and then uh yeah we're gonna continue on I think this part is V-Rock right here. It's coming up. Uh, oh, right there. There is V-Rock. All right, this is V-Rock right here. Oh, more, more so it looks like a U-Rock, but this is what they call V-Rock. So I'm gonna try to get my tires on each side here and try to ride the line. So yeah, let's go. All right, just finished V-Rock. Honestly, it's a lot easier than the first obstacle I had to go through. So yeah, <laughs> it's not as difficult anymore, but that first obstacle definitely was a bit difficult. Uh, I have to see to a video, but anyways, let's go turn around and start heading to camp. position <laughs> all right we're getting close to that uh lap first obstacle we had to go through um so yeah like the side by side that i actually just passed by told me they had to wench up just to get up to this spot right here so yep let's uh let's try to get down with no damage because <laughs> we still got a camp for tonight so i'm gonna go this way a little slight to the right. I'm gonna to try to hug as much as possible to the driver's side so I don't hit this rock right here. As I got to about yay here, I, I, like I said, I gotta review the footage, but as I got yay here, as I turning, I just took that drop. It felt like my body was shifting here, but I trusted the, the, the Jeep. And then I kind of just turned my, my wheels towards passenger and then I got through. Doesn't seem like there's any damage, but we'll, we'll check before we start moving on. Not that I see, no puncture. Maybe a little scuff on the old rim here, but it's already been there. Yep, we good. All right, I haven't been to 
V-Rock in like two years and so much has changed. Really happy I actually got to check it out before going to camp. Honestly, enjoying this little solo trip thing that I'm kind of doing before I uh, find camp. Who knows, I might actually start doing some solos. What do you guys think? I think it'd be a good one where I kind of just do some reconnaissance or go check out some side trails that I haven't really checked out around this area for a long time. Kind of figure out if those trails are good or those trails are bad. I've been saying that for like the longest time. I think on a random weekend, maybe not during the summer, I'd like to do that kind of thing maybe towards the, the fall. Um, so yeah. Hopefully I'll have time during the fall to do that and um, yeah, definitely happy I got to check out a few spots before heading to camp. Just like I said from the last video, like look at this crazy forest fire around this area. Like, it took most of the valley for sure. Man, that's crazy. Uh, there's already been some forest fires around actually close nearby here actually and I was actually kind of worried that uh, there might be some but we are currently in uh, fire ban now uh, starting July 12th which was yesterday um, but yeah crazy how this whole valley just caught on fire and it just uh just look at that let's just open this quickly that's crazy. I uh, was trying to film some drone shots, but unfortunately, for some reason, my drone was saying that there's obstruction while I was flying it when there wasn't, because clearly it was uh, very clear when I was flying it. I'm hoping that it's okay when I get to camp. Maybe I'll fly it again tomorrow, see how that goes. I'm assuming it might just be the sun, the sun rays. It's, you know, it's glimmering through the screen or the, the sensor. It's causing it to go uh, haywire, but this is the first time I've ever had to deal with it. Um, with, yeah, with the sun affecting it maybe, but I don't know. Um, comment down below for any of the drone guys that knows this, why it was saying obstruction when clearly there was no obstruction. <laughs> The sun was setting as I arrived at camp, which means it was too late to take that dip, so time to unwind. Since there was a fire ban, we used a propane fire pit as our campfire. As the evening fell, my buddy Chris cooked up some delicious seafood for dinner, and once the belly was full, I called it an early night. Every time I'm on the kitchen, I'm not on, I'm in. Oh yeah, get on that. <laughs> get on that. I woke up the next day to a beautiful sunny morning. At this point in the video, I usually have some drone footages, but as I said earlier, the drone wasn't working properly. Hopefully I can figure out what's wrong so that we're back in business for the next trip. Happy birthday, Mike. Thanks, man. How does it feel to be uh, 54? I don't know, I just get some rises and sh**. <laughs> Sucks, man. Sucks. Stay young. <laughs> Since my friends have camped for the past two days, they wanted to head out before lunch, which means I won't get to take that dip in the water. Ah, maybe next time. All right, we just finished airing up and we're about to head home. That'll do it for this video. I know it's a bit short, but uh, honestly, for me, it was just fun the fact that I got to check out uh, V Rock and a few obstacle tra uh, trails that uh, I don't normally go to. Uh, I kind of just go straight to camping, and that's pretty much it. But I'm glad that I actually had time to just do those kind of things. And V Rock was uh, V Rock was definitely on my bucket list this year to check out, and it didn't disappoint just because of the new washout that made it a bit more difficult. Heading home right now, and that'll do it for this video. If you guys like the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't done so, please subscribe to the channel. Also, hit that notification bell so you don't miss any future videos. Until next time, guys, like always, stay awesome.